Happening today, the NYPD met with clergy members to help reduce gun violence. And News 12's Jericho Tran is at the New York uh, City's Police Department's Police Academy in Queens with their community-based solutions to bring safety back to the city. Yes, about 300 people were expected to meet here today for a meeting hosted by the 67th Precinct Council, also known as the God Squad, to learn best practices accumulated over the past 11 years on how to keep the streets safe. Clergy members gathered inside an auditorium to receive special training on victim services and resources to help address violence in the community. The training, a part of the community solution, started earlier this year, which is committed to help reform the NYPD. Pastor Gilman Rose, the only clergy member who was part of the crisis management system through the mayor's office, helped educate clergy members about strategies that can be used throughout the city. One of those strategies, including reaching out to young people to help address the rise in gun violence in the city. Clergy members learned best practices, participated in role playing, and even addressed some of their concerns during the meeting. NYPD Chief of Patrol Juanita Holmes and other clergy members hope to put a solid plan together within the next few months to effectively reach out to the community. It feels amazing. I never thought we could pull it off. They go out without us and attempt to address it. Sometimes we take violence at the same area all the time. They're the ones with their members that will go to that particular area and try and bring some peace uh, to that particular area. Well, we are hoping that every precinct um, that comes to this training in terms of clergy in that particular precinct, that they can at least start to organize a small group of clergy to work within that particular community to help triage the, the gun violence that we see in our communities. Now these protocol guides were handed out to clergy members during the meeting, highlighting best practices for home and hospital visits and even the upcoming Juve and West Indian Day Parade. In Flushing, Jericho Tran, News 12.